everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome to a new little series. I don't know if this is actually going to be a series or not. We're just going to play some single-player Dominions. Uh, I, the Bosmos 2 game is over, but and I really enjoyed playing Chaco. But the more I played Chaco in that game, the more I realized that I would prefer to have played Chaco in a different way. I didn't really feel like I got my fill of the nation or really got a grip on what the nation could do. And I kind of just wanted to play some single-player... Uh, <laughs> Dominions because the servers have been down. This is right around Thanksgiving if you're watching this later. The servers have been down for almost a week now at this point while they are working on fixing up the bots and the servers and etc. Et so kind of jones in for a little bit of Dominions time so figured let's play some Dominions. We're going to do some mods. Obviously we're doing the Dominions enhanced mod uh, because we want to play Chaco so we need that. But we've also got, I think Dominion's Enhanced just comes with better arena and worthy heroes. But we're also throwing in the improved casting mod, Lucid's improved casting mod, uh, improved casting AI, and the thematic gym generator, and then the rebirth mod. Just because. We'll see how it goes. Um, and yeah. I think I have a general idea of what I want to do for Chaco. So we're just going to jump into creating a game uh, kind of right off the bat. I don't think we're going to do any big pretender design or anything like that but we go for fewer water provinces north wrap enable rivers enable caves all that stuff we're actually going to use the the generator the in-game map generator i've i've been doing a lot of or had been doing a lot of like map nuke um maps and things like that but they're very homogenous right they're very samey whereas while you know you get some really shit maps with the in-game map generator um, and it's horribly skewed, and it can actually screw you over. Uh, but at least they're they're really interesting, and they have different default. They have different terrain features and weird, you know, scenarios there. So we're just gonna play around with that because why not? Um, we're just gonna do a Chaco single player. We're gonna jump into the early game, and I think we're gonna go for probably around twelve. Um, impossible no we're not doing impossible we'll do we'll do mighty mighty we'll probably get our ass kicked but whatever i don't really care uh one two three we're gonna go 12 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 i'm gonna leave the ai types random and i'm gonna leave the nations all random and everything like that but we are gonna shake shako the fourth world and mosey around have a good time so we know we get earth blesses plus one and nature bless plus one we know we prefer heat scales too um when we played we went the great bear and i still think the great bear is actually an amazing choice for chaco we could legitimately just go um basically exactly what we did previously we want that and that so we could just go this, and and I actually think this is a really, really good build for Chaco. But last time we did... Was it... Was it seven? No, no, no. It was like... Like six, wasn't it? Yeah, it was six, because we went attack skill double. So we had a attack skill plus four for our whole... Um, our whole repel build which was interesting right like i don't think a repel build is bad but i think this is too much a commitment to try to do what we were doing on the nation that we were doing so obviously we don't want to do that uh this time but i mean look at that that saves us that saves us 141 points basically or 140 points uh, 240 points we have so many points that we could actually spend uh we could just take just take good scales on a lot of this. We go uh, heat. Part of the issue is is I do, I think one of the worst things that we did was take drain three. If anything, I think we should actually take take magic three in order to benefit from the just incredibly cheap astral ones that we get. Right. Uh, they're great research with Magic 3, but they'll be great research with just neutral, honestly. So, 
So I don't know. There's also the the corn dancer or whatever that we can get that actually gives growth. So we could we could pull back on the growth if we wanted to. Um, so what I was gonna say is is I think this is a perfectly doable um, option, but I actually think this isn't what I, isn't what I want to try. I want to try um, going for something, either going for a Wuya like one of the Titan chassis or going for like a rainbow chassis, right? So there are a couple of okay chassis that we have access to um, down here, right? For rainbow chassis. That will work just fine, you know? Uh, but there's nothing like super, oh my God, mega awesome. that I'm aware of. Someone might know other than me. But there are a couple of really interesting Wuya options or Katsina options. So someone was telling me about the, I think it's the Wuya of the clouds and land this, that has this thunderbolt, right? Which is, you know, it's a, it's basically like a storm demons you know, uh, lightning. So really good, good length. It's hard. Uh, has a large shock area, uh, area of effect six, so that's pretty pretty crazy. Um, and it's invulnerable fifteen, which is not really enough to keep it from getting gibbed, you know. Um, so we gotta be careful about that. But if we gave it a, a chunky bless, it could actually expand for us pretty easily. Uh, not the we of nature. Not the we of the sun. Same here. Hey, how's it going, Jay? How are you doing? Uh, oh, I kind of... Ooh, we've got Healer 3 on this Katsina Mana. That's interesting to me. Healer is pretty rare. Doing good? What are you up to tonight? So the Elder Pavosqua is, I feel like, just the cheapest option, right? I guess the Chrome's still the cheapest option. Yui, yui. Particularly skilled. Catching up on One Piece currently. Got to get to 1,000. Oh my goodness. Uh, we are very far behind. Casey, are we in the 700s yet? Or are we in the high 600s? You don't know. I think we're, I think we're just in the 700s or in the high 600s at this point. So we are still quite a ways off. What's this Storm Eagle do? Storm Immunity, Lightning Swarm. That's pretty cool. Um, I think part of my goal is to try to rely on my Katsina and Wuya for a, a expansion though. Well, I want to try two things. I want to try Katsina and Wuya expansion, but I also want to try um, more armored Chakoans as expanders. So we'll see how it goes. I think we're going to throw out this. Let's do generic three across the board. The generic rainbow bless. Um, obviously, on the earth and nature side of things, we get more. Going high into earth or something like hard skin. I don't think hard skin is worthwhile, but for something like fire shock resistance, right? So go for earth for fire shock resistance. And then, what do we have on nature? Any of those matter. Fire shock resistance, obviously, is only going to be incarnate. But we don't care about fire shock resistance for expansion. We care about it for late game, right? Um, hmm. So, probably just poison resistance. Probably, probably don't have to worry about um, super... Super buffing the nature side of things. We'd go fire shock, and then we'd go something like major poison. 
minor poison. Um, and we have on the majority of our people, we have good, uh, we have spirit side or whatever. So we don't need, we just go resilient. Okay. What else do we have in the theory that we care about? Um, our sacreds, most of our sacreds, most of our sacreds, this is, this is a catch. Most of our sacreds have, um, magic weapons, right? Our Katsina warriors have magic weapons, but our sacred bears don't have magic weapons and our ogres don't have magic weapons. So it could actually be worthwhile to snag magic weapons because if we were to go up against something that, you know, is ethereal, then being able to flood the battlefield with a bunch of bears could be pretty good. Um, alternatively, we could just go for, like, Arcane Command because um, our Katsina are actually magic beings, so this would help help being able to ferry those around. I don't see that being as probably a big problem, though. Probably magic weapons is the better plan to go. Something like that. Um, or, or we could even go so far as to, like, get penetration and things like that. So, um, not far caster, right? It's arcane finesse gets you. Pen I think we'll go for magic weapons for now. Go for attack skill, more fire resistance, etc. Again, more shock resistance. I feel like in this particular instance, at at this point, right, we have the fire shock, and we're not planning on being a super big, like, oh, every army is going to have flame or fire storm. So we probably just don't worry about the fire shock resistance, and we go attack skill, right? Attack skill, swiftness. Because attack skill is going to give us... Plus two attack, swiftness gives us plus one defense. And then we have the option, do we go cold resist or do we go defense? Um, I don't know that it matters in this particular situation. Against the AI, obviously, I don't think it, it's a too big of an issue. Um, we'll be nice and rounded and go, go cold resistance. So I think this is where we just take strength of the flesh and we just take probably undying if we do undead stuff we're just gonna want actual undead commanders we're not gonna care about uh undead on our own stuff so only thing here that is incarnate is the fire shock so we can just take imprisoned and take pretty really good skills again we don't we don't really need Productivity, so that's an easy one to dump. We take magic. Obviously, we want some dominion. We can boost up our heat so that we can have more points to play with. And we could actually take luck three. Hmm. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum snag anything probably not no 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 we cannot snag some points somewhere here ah and be like 40 points per hmm interesting i kind of feel like we just stick with the five uh, it's. I feel like it's unlikely for us to really be producing more than five Katsina anyways because the Katsina are so freaking expensive. 90 gold, right? They're super expensive. But with something like this, I feel like we're gonna... I don't know. I feel like, I feel like this would get stomped in a multiplayer game because we're not gonna have... I don't think this expands fast enough. In this, like this is, I, I believe I've tried something like this prior to the Bosmos game, um, and or not prior to the Bosmos game, but I I feel like I tested something like this for the Bosmos game. 
and it basically ended up being a yeah sure this is nice this is this is easy but you only get like 12 13 provinces in a year where you should be getting 20 provinces in a year because if you're not you're going to get creamed because you're going to be too small so i don't know <laughs> honestly uh i think we're going to try this out though if we if we don't like it i mean this is single player we'll just re restart um i make no commitments about whether or not we we stick around with anything or whether or not we uh, actually stick with a with a particular run maybe we'll stick around with a run maybe we'll cheat i don't know see how it goes we are going to take this god though anything else i can do i feel like, I feel like there's nothing else i can really add without screwing something up. We could take, we could take not magic and we could go for the money with or order, right? We actually could do that. If we, if we just take magic neutral and we go for order, right? I don't know, I feel like I feel like we go magic. We've got luck scales. We're probably gonna get some luck here or there. We'll expand just fine. It'll be okay. We're I think we're gonna be fine. Alright, we're gonna go with that. Who are, what are we gonna name this guy? We're gonna name this guy Sfeo. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm just butchering it, I'm sure. Because apparently this is actually one of so in in kind of like getting back into this, I I did a little bit of research on uh, Katsinas or Kachinas or, and the Wuya, um, the Pueblo uh, mythos, etc. Um, and there's some really interesting stuff. So Sveo is a giant ogre Kachina, one of the Hopi spirit beings. Pretty neat. Um, and we're probably going to be using some artwork that depicts uh, Sveo as the, the kind of like... Um, slate for this series so figured i'd do that because that seems cool all right let's uh jump into this all right we are going to bump up the magic site the special site frequency as high as it goes because why the fuck not i like a lot of gems uh we're gonna turn random of events to common and we're gonna turn story events to enabled we're also gonna turn score graphs on and we're basically going to maximize everything um hall of fame entries global enchantments all that stuff sure turn it all on um we're not going to do random research we want things spread and thrones of ascension what are we going to do we're we're going to do i think i think this is fun we're just going to do 10 I, I lie. We're gonna do ten and two because I like having a throne for every for every faction, right? So we'll do ten level three thrones and two level two thrones. We'll do fuck it. I don't. I don't care. Hmm. Do twenty three, right? So you can. You get up to 21 with, um, what is that, 7 tier 3 thrones. So you need either an 8th tier 3 or you need a tier 2. So, whatever. It uh, seems fine. I don't know if that math is correct or if I just horribly butchered that. Whatever. Um, we're going to turn cheat prevention off because if I get bored, I might just cheat. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. And yeah, we'll we'll do that. <gasps> Odie boy. You ready to play some Dominions? Says no papa, I don't like that game. It's no. No papa, I don't like that game. Oh he roll. He roll! <laughs> My boy -o. All right, we're planting trees, sprinkling rocks. 
So I'm considering, um, I'm considering doing more of the single player streams. I don't know if it's going to be something that I do consistently. I actually, I've been using the time to try to do more personal projects on the side, and that has been very useful to me. Um, I say I've been using the time. I, in theory, have been using the time here or there, but here lately, another reason why I'm, I'm doing this is here lately, I've just been kind of like, um, not using the time in a productive manner, so I'm trying to do that. Oh boy. He says, tap, tap. He says, pop, pop. You stop petting me. Please, pop, pop. Please, may I have another? Oh, dear boy. So greedy. So greedy. In the beginning, there was chaos, and now the wheel has turned once again. All right, cool. So, it's a very quintessential kind of like, um... This is a very typical map created by Dominions. But we've got some interesting stuff around us. We've got fields of gold. Not a lot of uh, planes. My goodness. Somebody got some, some planes over here. Alright, whatever. I don't particularly care about all that jazz. We care about uh, kicking ass and taking names. What do, we, what do we got going on? What is our plan here? Our plan, we cannot afford... We can't just, like, start tossing out Wuyas. So we're going to have to conquer some territory first. Um, easiest thing is scouting out our neighbors. Let's go up north. We've got some interesting, like, territory up here. A very, very, like, sketchy amount of bridges and lakes or rivers in this direction. Let's head that way. We'll go we'll go into Donnermark because we have more flexibility than if we go into Sodden Mirk. Um, I'll say that. We're just we're just sprinting, so we just go to Sodden Mirk. Merk. Mirk? Merk. We'll just run up this way. Um we'll go ahead and become a prophet because we don't particularly care about our prophets. Um obviously we care about the prophets for Dominion spread, but we have uh, H3s, recruitable H3s, so we don't have to we don't have to really worry about having an H3 from our profit. We just pick up whoever the fuck we pick up. So I think our goal is probably to take a Katsina. Um and as many Katsina warriors as we can get as quickly as we can. And I think Chikoan armored warriors are kind of the way to go. We, I remember we did a lot of testing with Chikoan elite warriors and they were subpar. Um, and then we did a lot of testing with like Adelado warriors and club warriors and spear warriors. And the armored warriors kind of perform the, perform the best for what we are trying to accomplish. I think the Chikoan elite warriors perform slightly better in theory, but the, the armored warriors cost less and we can mass them more, etc. Go ahead and grab as many of them as we can. This is going to be a very slow start. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, well. It is what it is. Okay. Yeah, I'll guess. Proclamation from Pan, Helheim, Relay, Pelagia, and us. So we know a few of our competitors. I'm not even going to look at them. I'm going to wait to be surprised. Looks like we have few people in the fields of gold. That's nice. We'll want to hit that sooner rather than later. I'm going to go ahead and keep moving. Oh, wow. Great. Pelagia is right up on us. That's going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, no. I hate it. Thanks. I Thanks. I hate it. Okay. Uh, we're going to recruit as many as we can here. Again. Cast spells. Move them. Not like this. Fire. Enemy archers. That type of thing. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna attack yet. I think I think we throw this army out and it just dies. 25 people, it's it's not gonna be enough. So we're gonna oh, this is gonna be a very slow start. Holy shit. We're gonna preach. 
Next turn, though, we're going to have a Katsina. Okay, we got a Gartha and Fomoria. All right. Unexpected event from Chaco. A magnificent statue was raised in the honor of Saveo. He who confuses the way. <laughs> confuses the way. That's Odie. Boy, he confuses the way. No, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't pay attention to Odie. He's trying to escape to Mama. Uh, what did we get? We got Dominion plus four and Order plus one. That's pretty neat. That's pretty... I like that. Okay, we've got a couple of Katsinas, and we are going to... We're going to try to do the Guard Commander trick that I have been told uh, of, of so many times. I am I feel this is very dicey, but we'll see. We're going to do a Blessing, Blessing, Prayer of the Earth. And then we're going to attack. Who are we going to go for? I think we just go right for this Fields of Gold. We need we need the gold. So, you know. Uh, we're going to snag a Chikoan Star Priest to start trying to research. And I feel like we always have to get as many... Well, see, here's the thing. I want to say I feel like we always have to get as many Katsina Warriors as we can. But if we take this one turn, actually, we don't have a lot of resources, so... Yeah. Well, I mean, do about half and half. You know? I feel so sad. I think we take the Katsinas. We always take as many Katsinas as we can. Katsinas are the big deal. So let's keep going. Yeah, we'll just keep going towards this. See how this goes. Alm, Juhera, and Nihuala. That's interesting. I'm very I'm very excited that we have those. We have other DE nations. Okay. What are we actually up against? A couple of cataphracts, it looks like, and some light cav. Not too big of a deal. These cataphracts could be a real big problem if they hit my deuterino, though. So we're still in the testing phase. But thank you, Vine Shield. We'll obviously be way safer once we get to a scenario where we can, you know, do things like iron skin and personal regeneration and things like that. But um, for now, they're pretty sketch. Like, we're, we're taking hits here. This Katsina has taken a lot of damage from the errors. That being said, it looks like we are no winners without any losses, so that's good. Definitely, I can feel the the weaker portion, though. We are not nearly as strong as we were expanding with the bear. It kind of makes me want to go back and start with a bear. We might, we might, we might actually do that. We might just try to do the bear again, but without the fire portion. My, that might, that might be like the best way to play Chaco. I don't know. All right, we're gonna jump in here and see how this goes. Uh, still feel like we do another star priest. That here. Something like that. Research. Okay, what are we researching? I think alteration ASAP. The sooner we can get to iron skin, the better, right? Iron skin lets us kind of be a little ridiculous with our Mong Katsinas. Try that.
All right, we got a battle in Vongar. Well, that's a lot of... That's a couple heavy infantry, or heavy cavalry. All right, let's see how it goes. Doing pretty good, doing pretty good. Ooh. Some hits from the... I really wish we had regeneration. Like... Part of my mindset, though, is, is again, right, we have the ability to put regeneration on ourselves, so it's still, don't get me wrong, it's very powerful, but I'm hoping we can just get away with it. We lost a Katsina warrior, though, and that's that's 90 gold. Two, two provinces, 90 gold down. I don't know about that. Heroic Endurance. Cool. So he just has a built-in two reinvigoration. That's pretty neat, actually. Have to come up here. I think the woodsmen might actually fuck us up. Because the woodsmen have a lot of range. That might not go over very well for us. This starting army is just so crap, y'all. I'm so, I'm so like <laughs> reticent to do anything with it. We are starting to accumulate some money, though. I think I'm gonna take one more turn of Katsinas because I'm gonna send these Katsinas with this army. So this is going to be the last turn of... Oh, no, I can't, because this guy, this prophet doesn't have any. So I take that back. Don't want to do that, then. I want a Mon Katsina, because I want these guys going out. So last turn, we're going to add a couple in there, and then we're going to throw him out in a direction. We'll see how it goes. We're going to be so, so bad. My goodness. Okay, battle in Sodden Merc. Let's see how this goes. That's a bunch of blowpipes. And these blowpipes I'm actually somewhat concerned about because of the paralyzing poison. They got a lot, like I said, they got a lot of range. So I'm kind of concerned that they're going to get our Unkatsina. Okay, we routed them. That's good. Okay. Worked out. They did not get as many blow blowpipe shots off as I expected them to. Um, pretty good there. Unexpected event in the fields of gold. And Etten and his brother are eating commoners and sheep. I have luck three. Get out of here. B bad. Stop it. Okay, unexpected event in Vongar. We got Growth 1, Luck 1, Sloth 3. Who knew? A fairy court of summer has been traveling through the land. Growth and luck have increased, but frolicking peasants have left the fields untended, causing a fall in productivity. Uh, that is not what I need. And then we have a battle in the fields of gold, which our province defense against two Ettons. I am not thinking we have a good option here. Especially not... Oof. He gonna get creamed. Ooh, wow, he did chunk that fucking Etten. I mean, if we can, if we can scare one of them off. Oh, how y'all, how y'all gonna miss him? He's right there. They both right there. Oh, one, one fled already. And this one has a limp. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. They can flee. Well, we're dead. Oh, what? What? Wow. How amazing. Well done.
Province defense. Who's your commander? Who's your commander? Wait, did you... How are you guys still here? They have no commander. How are they still here? I don't understand. This is... <laughs> this should not have happened. <laughs> when you have no commander, your troops are supposed to flee. They did not flee. That's funny. They were just like, nah. Nah, we ain't fleeing. This is our place. That's pretty cool. Alright, so... Yeah, we lost our commander. That was that Kikmongui. We lost our commander, but they fought on anyways and killed the Etans. That's pretty amazing. That is pretty amazing. Alright, sweet. I kind of feel like we just keep keep on keeping on and hopefully we are successful. We've taken Battle Fright though. Oh, that's horrible. And we have a never healing wound over here. That's no bueno. Okay. I'm going to take a bunch of Katsinas here. Take these. And I guess we're just going to charge at one of these groups. Um, I don't think we're going to be super successful with either one of them, so here we go. Aha! We have found Fomoria. We found Pelagia and we found Fomoria. Turn six, we have four provinces. It's not great. That's not great. I'll tell you what, it's not great. Oh, I need to change my... I should have changed my uh, scripting. Not bad. What do we got? View battle. Hopefully we didn't just lose this guy. Oh, this is like nothing. We totally got this. Fingers crossed. Of all the things, if we lose on this... So how's it feel playing against AI versus people? AI is... is... So here's the thing, the AI is not a challenge in any way, shape, form, or fashion, excepting when you're playing on things like Master or Impossible, because at that point the AI cheats, and it just has absurd amounts of resources. Um, and it's not fun to play against that, because you have to play in very specific manners to basically just be as punitive and cheesy as possible. So that's why I tend to not play on those unless I am trying to accomplish a particular thing or, or really stroke my ego. Um, AI is fun to just romp around it. AI is fun to experiment with, but it, it doesn't have anywhere near the same thing as uh, people. But I can tell you this, we're on turn seven, and even in the best of games, <laughs> if I was playing with people, it would be a week later. So, you know. Unless I was playing a Blitz. There, there are a couple times I've played Blitzes where, you know, Blitzes are, you know, 10 minute turns. You, you actually get together and just be like, okay, we're playing now, go. That can be really fun. I actually wish I did more Blitzes. Let's check this battle. I was not paying attention. Connie's playing. Okay, so we've got a comparable amount of heavy infantry over here. They're going to do better than our Chikoan armored warriors. Um, and we've got some Slinger as well, so this is a, this is a questionable battle. We do have our archers on their Slingers, though, so maybe we can be successful in sniping some of them and getting them to run. Did just get a pretty nice hit there. I'm also hoping that, you know, just our our prophet helps, you know, snipe some people down magically. As as they are wont to do. It looks like we're losing the infantry battle. Pretty bad, actually. Pretty bad. We win overall though. That battle or this this starting army is not good. And the, the, the units, the Chikoan units are outside of the Katsina are not good at all. There was an internet card game back in the day that was actually used as, 
that used a passive playstyle like this, where you could submit your turn and then your opponent could take theirs whenever. That's pretty neat. But we did win. Unexpected event in Sodden Merc. So this is the Rebirth mod taking effect, right? Um, because Sodden Merc is under a certain amount of population, it has events that proc to try to give it more population and income, which I think is really, really nice. Um, we had a Star Priest wounded. That is not really, really nice. And a bunch of people have left the Connie's Plains. A large group of non-faithfuls have decided to immigrate... Part of the population has left their homes in search of a better place to live, and faith has increased in the rightful god. Unfortunate. Well, mixed results. Really fond memories of it, but it is long since dead. Dude, the amount of the amount of fond memories, but long since dead that I have going on is pretty rough. <laughs> Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Okay, so Alrighty. Turn seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Still not great. Nowhere, com nowhere near comparable to what we were doing with the bear, right? But if we can tough it out, I mean, obviously it's the AI, so it's it's not going to be really nearly as big of an issue. But if we can tough it out, maybe we can make a good show of it. We have alteration now, so we want to put Fark Skin on. Fark Skin. I actually think um, probably best at this time to turn the whole bodyguard stuff off. We'll do a hold and attack. Um, but I don't think we need that anymore. Or I, I, not necessarily I don't think that we need it. I don't think that it's super beneficial to us. Anymore. We're going to take a five stack and we're going to basically do the exact same thing. We're going to move back. We're going to pull back. Uh, we're going to hold an attack and we're going to do bless bless bark skin i don't really care about prayer from the earth honestly at this point just cast spells advance and cast spells see how that goes now bark skin really isn't gonna do too terribly much but i don't know if they have fucking magic weapons i guess it's whatever we'll see just kind of flex them Trying to see what all we can do. We don't have access to Earth Grip. I don't have access to Boar Skin. Boar Skin is pretty good. I think we just keep going for Alteration. Because again, if we can get to Iron Skin, Iron Skin and then we jump into Enchantment for Personal Regeneration. Um, we'll just be able to take our Monketsinas and go Iron Skin, Personal Region, and throw them out there. Because Iron Skin, Personal Region, and a built-in Vine Shield is is a ticket to say fuck you to 90% of the Indies in the game. And that's really what we're trying to maximize here is, is, is our ability to say fuck you to Indies. So. This is... Whew, this is really slow though i think i'm actually like after having witnessed how bad this this army has done i'm considering just not doing anything with the rest of it. i might just suicide it on on these ab to try to like break them up i don't know just get we'll just refill and then throw them at the cab how that goes not gonna go well but we'll see how it goes All right. What else that we have to worry about? Is anyone buying? Mercs? Yes, people are buying Mercs. Yeah, hey, Julian. Battle in Boar Woods. See how this goes. We are up against a bit of heavy infantry and some 
militia. Blessings. Did we get everyone? Yeah, we're good. So that was an easy one. Next battle we have in Latian. Ureshinaber. Nope, got routed. Oof, big oof. Was that because of this deer tribe? Watch again. More slowly. We can speed through the starter portion, though. Reverse. All right, we get Sleep Cloud goes up. Immediately kill that guy. Chop, 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 chop. Wow, that was just bad luck. Wow. Yeah, we didn't even, we didn't get any big triggers. We didn't lose anybody. It's just this Katsina warrior had kind of kind of unfortunate luck in that uh he didn't vine shield most of these before they got good hits on him. And then their hits did, you know, enough damage to get through his invulnerable etc etc so he just took a couple of chunky hits but the thing is is immediately afterwards he he got them with the vine shield so he's probably fine he might have died anyways but <laughs> they just routed uh if they had stayed and fought they absolutely would have won so that's unfortunate um all right our first kind of like little actually yeah, we, we retreated successfully, so we, we didn't lose anything out of that. It just was an unsuccessful expansion. Which is not very good for us. Seven provinces on turn eight is pretty dismal. Ooh, we got Jade Amazons. That's neat. I don't worry about those particularly yet. We're going to keep dressing out here. Um, and we'll just hit those guys again. Whatever. Nothing particularly interesting on any of these just yet. Uh, we're still rooting, recruiting a Monkatsina. Do not need that. So, we are finally getting to the point to where our money is more than we can spend in this particular... Like, instant. That's good. Which means we we can either start getting ready to put up a... A fort, or we can start uh, producing wheat. I don't know. I, I'm, having, I'm having qualms with this. This uh, build. Not, um, I'm not super frisky about this particular one. Do we have a scout province? This is one of the things I do not like about Chaco is they do not have scout units that they can produce easily from their um, anywhere provinces. So you have to kind of find a scout province. Or you have to sacrifice turns from your recruitment centers so that's okay we are continuing onwards okay battle in the lands in pretty easy
Gotcha. Easy peasy, and then battle in Latian. If we win this time around. Nope. <laughs> these, these deer tribe just have our number. Well, actually... Yeah, nope, we routed. And we actually lost a cutscene at that time. Woods of Weeping. Hey, what happened here? Let's see what dumb bless the AI has. All right, we've got some Fomorian Giants, and we do not have the ability to bless them. We are leading them around on a Furbolg Druid that has a, some personal gems. That druid is just asking to get smacked. Oh, he, get, he did! <laughs> he got smacked! He did! Alright, AI. You, you silly bastard. The AI could definitely use some improvements as far as, like, how to effectively lead troops. We have a bad harvest in Land's End. This is just uh, not going super great. Turn 9. Okay, we're... Also diseased, so... Okay, I'm just going to keep slowing my line heading against the wall there. Hold an attack. Yeah, spells, blessing, blessing, arc skin, advancing cast spells, whatever. Lands in. Not great. You're a deer. That's so many barbarians. Suicide something into that. Suicide this into that. We could do a bunch of like archers now. And then do another group here and actually yeah I might Wait, we have twelve spots. We're actually recruiting the correct amount. And eleven twelve. We don't need one. And then we'll send uh, they'll die, but we'll send this group down and try to see if we can't snipe some barbarian heads and get them to route. There it goes. Yeah, I don't like how many injuries we're taking here. This blind and amp these are expensive units, right? Like I, I don't want to be losing these guys. We're taking so many wounds. I don't, I don't know that I like this build. I don't think it's strong enough to be. I definitely don't want to go against those lizard warriors. They will potentially get. Long Dead Horsemen could do the same because we don't have a good chance of. Oui, neither of these are super good fights for us. Fun. Oh, boy, don't you do it! Like Papa! You have angered me, Papa. Battle in Donnermark. Let's see how it goes. That's so many. Yeah, I don't think we do well against this. Look at all the damage we've taken. With regeneration, yeah, we do fine because we just ignore... Are we going to win? My goodness. But at what cost? We lose three Katsina Warriors. And two retreat back to friendly turn. We do take the... We take the province, though. It's fucked up. Doifa, doifa. We routed again. 
Jesus! Oh, he's dead. Alright, cool. Next up! Alright, that's a bunch of long dead horsemen. This is gonna hurt. I think we might remake and try the uh, the bear out again. Try out the bear with a more neutral scales. Basically, try out the bear without the 240 points spent into fire, right? And just see how that goes. Because I think the bear, again, is just the bear is just gonna slap as far as expansion goes. Um, so we win there, and I think the bear is gonna be better for. I mean, a regen Temper Flesh is going to be better for the majority of our Booyahs and Monkatsinas and Katsinas. I just think it's going to be a better build overall. Turn 10, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 provinces. Oof. We'll go to turn 12. I'll give it the I'll give it the old college try and we'll go to the first year. But um I think we're pretty pooped on at this point. My god. Such bad expansion. Such such terribly bad expansion. Alright. Um, obviously we can change this up to... Uh, we can do stone skin. Do boar skin afterwards. I don't know if stone skin, boar skin was going to do anything. I think it's just going to set me to 15. But we'll experiment with it. See how it goes. Yeah. It's armor of Achilles. Does not affect... Ah, uh, yeah, that's the shattering. Enlarge could be cool. We're kind of just casting whatever. So wheat, baby Jesus. All right, Baratos, holy shit. Cool. All right. Blessing, blessing, stone skin, boar skin. All right, stone skin, boar skin. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't do anything. It just sets us to. Eh. Well, we won. We got a limp, and he's blind. We won. But. Unexpected event in Fields of Gold. Okay, here. Now, this is not a conducive. Uh, just throw these people in here. We're gonna see how it goes. Again, we're gonna we're just gonna finish out our abysmal turn, uh, uh, year one expansion with this build, and then we're. I'm not even gonna recruit stuff. Like, fuck it, we're we're done. Yeah. This absolutely is not a not a kosher build. It just it just doesn't work. When is Dominion Six coming out? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. They did just release uh, about two months ago. They released Conquest of Elysium Five. So Conquest of Elysium is the other series that they run. Uh, they do Dominions. Uh, Ill Winter is the company. They do Dominions, and then they do Conquest of Elysium. So Conquest of Elysium 5 just came out. My assumption being is that they kind of flip-flop between the two. So if Conquest of Elysium 5 just came out, I would assume Dominion 6 probably isn't going to be out for another year, two, three years, something like that. Now let's see this battle in Tiradir before we just fucking remake, because this is not the build for us, I believe. Can we get lucky? Can we get... Any headshots? Ooh, ooh, we just popped somebody. Ah, uh, I mean, we are doing damage to him. Chaco and archers are one of the things that I do actually like about Chaco. 
Um, we just don't have enough here to face off against this many barbarians, I think. Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, the wave. Ah, cut, 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 cut. My goodness. Oh, wow. We routed them up here. Well, for the most part. There go all of our archers. Oh! Oh! They have been routed! Oh, we've been routed. Everything's running! Isn't that the best when both sides just are like, Nope, we're out. Oof. Bye! Fuck you! <laughs> uh, Astro Pearl is plus five? Okay, cool. So that's the end of year one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve provinces, which is on on one hand, that's not great, right? Obviously, we would want you know sixteen to eighteen at at like a low end, um, twenty to twenty four at kind of like a higher end, which is easily possible with a good bless, um. The other thing, though, is, and we we have to we have to keep in mind this. This we are playing on a regular game generated map, which tends to spawn lower population provinces, um, which are just not as good. Unfortunately, it is what it is. But then there's also the fact that, um, aside from it being year turn twelve and and us only have twelve provinces, we have no infrastructure going up we have no additional temples no additional labs no additional um fortifications going up or anything like that uh we have no research centers all of what we were trying to do just then was just trying to get some decent expansion going and it just it was crap it was horribly bad crap so i think we can very easily be like yeah no that did not that did not work so let's go back and try a new build Delete that game. Early ages. Uh, same scenario. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is it peasy? Uh, we're going to take Shaco. And I might actually come in here and... No, I'm not going to force any of these. You know what? I really want to play some Alcara in the near future. All right, we're just going to go with that. And I think we're going to try Bear again, right? Or do I want to try Bison this time? I think I think in my testings, I basically determined that Bear is vastly superior to Bison in pretty much every, every way. Pretty sure that's a no. So we go Great Bear. Go this and this. that and that and i think we just go with that honestly so we can take crap productivity we can take this and this is where we kind of like get a little frisky so i'm of the opinion that we sink our order a little bit i say a little bit but probably a lot of it we take Dominion, obviously, and then we take as many points in luck as we can to try to counterbalance the events, right? Because we have... Yeah. We have increased number of events. So we try to make sure that those events don't suck. I guess we don't have to do that, though. We could just take less turmoil. Oh, I don't know. see the point in doing that, really. We're going to have neutral magic, right? So we're not going to have the... Our, our star priests are going to research at 7, rather than researching at 4, which is a big deal. They're not going to be researching at 10, which would also be a big deal, but I think it's, you know, it's still fine. Um... I think this is just going to give us way, way better expansion. The bear can just go out and do whatever it wants. And then we don't have to worry about 
I don't know why well, I feel like we don't have to worry about being so poor, but we do have minus 20, 20, 22 percent income. I don't know. IDK. Okay. I think we try this. We're going to do the same thing, though. Surveil. Magic site, all this stuff. Back to where it was. Okay. Easy piece. You know what? Uh, that's probably a good place for us to go ahead and cut this video. <laughs> um, again, I don't know if this is going to be a series or if this is just going to be me occasionally messing around uh, or if I'm just, you know, killing some time, playing some Dominions, etc., etc. But that's going to be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for more Chaco single player, I guess. Bye-bye, everybody.